Here's how you're gonna make your first thousand dollars trading online. This video is for experts, so you gotta have somewhat of an idea of what trading is. Now, if you're a beginner, don't you worry. I have a video coming around the corner just for you where we break down step by step how to get started and to understand trading a lot better. However, I do wanna challenge you to watch this video because I do believe you can pick up some things that will help you out. You're first gonna pull up a chart of any stock that you're interested in trading, but you're gonna pull it up on the weekly. This is TradingView, it's a software that you can get online. There'll be a link down below if you're interested, but this right here is a weekly chart. And the reason I want you to look at the weekly is because you're new. And if you're new, it's harder to see things. And so what I want you to understand is if you look right here and right here, this line that I drew, 165.30 is pretty clear. You know, we've tested here we test it here, we test it here, we test it here and here, and we couldn't really figure out what we're gonna do. We we're holding this area, and then we finally pushed up above it. Once we rushed above it and we pulled back, you can see after the pullback, we held this area pretty perfectly. Then we push back up. This is what we call support. Now don't worry, this is not just a post analysis setup. This is to show you what you're looking for, so you can do it right away, and I'm gonna show you how it plays out live, because in theory is one thing, live is another. Now. On this day is the day we're gonna be trading it. Now, if we go to the daily chart, you'll see that it actually starts to break down that day. And if we go zoom in and let's say the 15 minute, on this day, we had a straight panic and we came all the way down to the key level. Now, this is when I'm interested. I don't care what happens up here. This is not interesting to me, especially if you're new. What is interesting is all right here all at the key level, anything right at this level is what I want to focus on. So if you're new, that's what you want to focus on. Now, if we go ahead and zoom in, let's go ahead and do the two minute here. And you'll see that this actually came down, consolidated above the level and then cracked, came back down to the level. Now, this is the most important part because what we want to do is see if it forms some type of structure. Now, structure is a little advanced, but just to make it very simple, one form of structure is consolidation. So if it just consolidates in a range and then finally breaks this range, that to me is structure. It was formed and broken. So what we're looking for here is structure was formed, then broken. And that's what happens. And then we get a pullback, consolidate a little bit more, and then we fade. So we're looking to take advantage of this move. And ideally, with this type of setup, to figure out your price targets, you would go over here to the daily and look left. And what you want to find is previous levels. So we do have a level here, 164.40. And we do have this next level here at 162.82. We're gonna make these more of a dotted line just so you can see it visually. And now if we zoom in, let's say to the 15 minute, you'll see that we did hold that previous line. So it's not surprising that we held that area, but again, this is why you wanna draw your level so you can find your targets. That's how you find the targets. Now, when it turns to your risk and how much you're willing to lose, that's up to you, but you do wanna determine if there is good enough risk reward. And so if we put this here and say you wanna risk $1,000, let's just say you wanna risk $10 because you're new and you wanna make sure you do this right. And you get in and you start covering down here. Well, in order to make three to one, right now it's 1.37. And the further you go down, the better it's gonna be three to one. And here we are, three to one. Now. In this case, it's not always gonna work out this perfectly, but some cases we do believe if it's on the daily setup, it should move a lot further than this first target. We really, I was expecting it to come down to this level. So just keep that in mind while I'm trading it. That's what I'm expecting to happen. The very minimum, at least here, but I am expecting a bigger fade, which is why you'll see I actually hold all the way out throughout the day and I cover pieces down here and then I recover down here into the close. Now let's get into the live trade. You can see here, that I took a position and covered right away and then I'm still in the position and that's on Apple. And this is the exact same setup. It's a daily support crack. And so I actually oversized, covered the oversize for a small loss at 0.08R and then resized back in risking 165.78. Now let me explain why I entered here and also why my risk is there. The reason I entered here is because this level, this 165.50 zone, 165.30s, is a key level on the daily. And we've been testing it and we look like we were breaking lower. And so because of that, I felt like the prior level that just broke right below 165.78, we'll call it 165.60, 55. That level I was thinking should act as resistance because it was support and it was right above the key daily level that did just get breached. 
So I'm thinking that should be my risk. If it breaks above the 50s and holds and really the 78s, I will be completely out. If you're looking at the PL section and you're like, what is ours? Let me tell you real quick. If you're willing to risk $10, that's your 1R. If I'm willing to risk, let's say $333, that's my 1R. So if you make 3R, that's $1,000. I want this to be relevant for you and your account. So whatever your 1R is, 3R is three times that. Let's get back to the video. And now that we're zoomed in here, you're probably thinking, well, it wasn't really breaking down, Alex. It was kind of like a fake break. And you're right, that happens. Sometimes I'm not going to nail it and I'm not going to get the perfect break and I'm going to get faked out. That's part of trading and I'm totally fine with that. The faster you can accept that, the better you'll be. And what I've learned is if I already felt like this was a short from the get-go and I felt like that was a sign and I take it, I have to stick to the plan. I can't think in hindsight or after the fact because anything that comes in after the fact, like, ooh, that doesn't look like a great break, that is all emotion and those plans do not work. The ones after you get in do not work. The ones before you get in are the right plan. So stick to the plan that you come up with. If you're liking this type of content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so others can enjoy this content. And just to let you know, we just announced the pre-sale of my brand new trading course where I go into detail like this on many examples. The link is down below. Now on this further breakdown, you see I took an added position. And the reason I added here is because I decided to get full size. Now, after I got this full size, I immediately covered a small portion. I covered 12% of my size. And now I did that because again, I'm a little emotional here. I'm not going to lie. It's part of trading. Sometimes emotions are going to rush in and I know that. And so I wanted to protect my mindset and cover just a small piece just to cover my emotions. Because at the end of the day, we're really managing our emotions when we're in a trade because we want to stick to the plan. So I'm trying to make sure that I stick to this plan and I, my stop is still 165.78. I have no intention of moving it at this time. So right here, I went ahead and added back some of my cover. Covered 12% earlier and then I added 9% of my size back which pretty much pushed me back to full size. However, on that ad, I am risking the 58 on the ad itself because I feel like that zone should still hold. But the reason I'm still holding my core to the 70s is because the big picture is still in play. It's still a daily breakdown. It hasn't really broken down yet. It's still really holding the 165 area. It keeps soaking down there. So I don't really think it's broken yet. So this still could break the 50s and then tank. So I want to play it safe, but sometimes I want to add because you can add tight risk ads where you only risk like 10% of your normal size, but that 10% of your normal size can actually make you a full 1R on its own and add to your end of day results. So that's just something I do every one now and then it doesn't always work and you gotta be willing to take the loss and that's just part of trading. I wanna take this time to say thank you to our sponsor, Cobra Trading. Cobra Trading is the go-to broker for day traders and short sellers. And I'm not the only one saying this. In fact, Benzinga, awarded Cobra Trading as the go-to broker for short selling. They have a heavy focus on direct market access order routing, so you have the fastest execution. They have some of the best locate prices and availability. They also have amazing customer service. I've experienced many different brokers, and it's why I use them every single day and why I'm proud to have them as our sponsor. Sign up now by clicking the Be The Trader referral link below and earn one free month of software with Cobra and 25% off all commissions. Now let's get back to the show. Now at this time, you can see that I'm also in NVIDIA and that play is working quite nicely. That's also a daily breakdown today. So I found three of these today and one is working quite nicely, as you can see on NVIDIA. Another one didn't work, MNMD and Apple. We are going to find out how this plays out. By the end of the day, this is the reality. You're going to take multiple trades depending on your strategy. Mine, I'm looking to take all the trades that fit my criteria. Sometimes it's just one on the day. Sometimes it's four. Sometimes it's eight. But that can't stop you from continuing to pull the trigger and sticking to your plan. So you can see here, I just got stopped out on that small ad. And that's okay. That's just part of the plan. Now I'm down negative 0.23R on this play and unrealized half an R. And if I get stopped down on this other portion, then I'll lose one R. So let's go ahead and fast forward it by 100X and just ask yourself, could you stick to a plan knowing you almost got stopped out? A lot of people would cover their whole position there because they're like, oh, it's gonna hold, let me just get out. And that could save you some money, but more times than not, it will cost you a lot of money. So I really recommend always sticking to your plan. 
no matter what, because at the end of the day, you'll at least have consistent data, whether you're right or wrong. And then you can look at that data, evaluate it and develop a strategy that works for you and your style. By the way, that cover that happened not too long ago on that small ad put me back at 80% of my normal size. So I'm pretty much full size, not very far away from it. And then I covered again at 1150, 12% of my size. And the reason I did that is because now we're at midday. I have a rule midday that I either have to cover half of my position because it's at a key level near my profits or move my stop to an area that I think I'd be happy with covering half or taking half of my gains or taking a stop for a loss. That's a rule that I have because around midday things tend to drift. Things tend to go and move a lot further than you think in the opposite direction. And so because of that, I like to protect myself. And so I end up Put my stop at 165.20 for half of my position because I just want to protect myself just in case. Now let's go ahead and speed this up 100x. And as I mentioned earlier, since we are now midday, I am starting to cover more for profits. Since it doesn't look like it's breaking down, I am taking off more of my position down back down to half. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure I take in some gains where I can at least hold for the move. And you can see I eliminated my stop because I already took the profits that I was going to use as a stop. And at this point, I am now using the 69 area as my main stop. And look, it's midday. Things are drifting up. Not a coincidence. Not something that I'm unaware of. It's something that I expect. And so because of that, I'm just going to let it do its thing and not really worry about it. Again, keep in mind, we're at 100x speed right now. Could you hold through this? We're going all the way back up to my stop. And we almost stopped me out. So many people would take a loss up there before it stops them out because they're thinking they're saving some money. But in reality, they're just breaking their rules and you don't want to break your plan. Now, I'm not saying this is going to work in my favor or not, but I'm just saying there's been a lot of times in my trading career that I would stop out early and then it would work all the way in my favor and I wouldn't take any gains. So please always stick to your plan. I went ahead and also just locked in NVIDIA for 3R, just about. I love this day because it's a good example of you just never know what's going to happen. I was initially down, and if you let your emotions get to you, it could really impact your entire day, and you might end up being red on the day, and that happened to me all the time. If you're enjoying these type of videos, make sure to hit like and subscribe, and check out our brand new course down below in the description because we go into much more detail on many examples just like this.